So you have a presentation coming up and you want to nail it so you look good in front of your peers. But public speaking terrifies you. Well, today I'm going to give you five must know facts about propranolol, a medication that is sure to help. So stick around. So before we even get into the five must know facts, I need you to know that this medication goes by two different names and doctors will use these names interchangeably. So Inderol is a brand name and propranolol is a generic. So don't get confused. Fact number one that I want you to know about is what this medication is approved to treat. So interestingly, propranolol is actually considered to be an antihypertensive. So you're going to see that it has a lot of cardiovascular indications. It's FDA approved to treat hypertension, angina pectoris due to coronary atherosclerosis, cardiac arrhythmias, myocardial infarction, hypertrophic subaortic stenosis, pheochromocytoma, essential tremors, and it's actually also used for migraine prophylaxis. However, okay, stick with me here. These aren't the uses that we're going to be focusing on in this video. We're going to be talking about its off-label uses, and we commonly use propranolol in the psychiatric setting to treat things such as performance anxiety, panic attacks, akathisia, PTSD, aggression, and generalized anxiety. Fact number two that you need to know about is how this medication works. Propranolol is considered to be a non-selective beta blocker. And with this, what we see is it can help reduce some of the sympathetic symptoms of anxiety. So what we're talking about here are the physical symptoms that pop up whenever we're nervous. So things like sweating, shakiness, flushing, and increased heart rate. What we see is that propranolol can help reduce the severity and intensity of these symptoms. Fact number three to know about is how propranolol is prescribed. This medication comes in tablets, extended release capsules, an oral solution, and as an injection. Generally, I'll prescribe the tablets when using it for site conditions. And as you can imagine, the dosing for this medication is quite variable and is based on the individual. So when I'm using it for performance anxiety, I'll generally instruct my patients to start by taking 10 milligrams an hour before their performance. We'll gradually then increase the doses needed if that first dose isn't strong enough. The effective dose is usually between 10 to 40 milligrams. Now, when using this medication on an as-needed, day-to-day basis for things like panic disorder or anxiety in general, I'll usually write for it to be taken two to three times throughout the day as needed. And the max FDA recommended dose is actually 640 milligrams daily. However, I've never even come close to using this high of a dose when prescribing it in the psychiatric setting. The highest total daily dose I've seen patients on is around two to 300 milligrams per day in divided doses. Fact number four that I want you to be aware of are the commonly seen side effects. According to the FDA label, some frequent side effects include dizziness, fatigue, bradycardia, and hypotension. Obviously with this med being a blood pressure med, we wanna keep an eye on blood pressure and heart rate in those taking it. The other thing to know is that this medication is contraindicated in those with asthma because it can provoke an asthma attack by blocking bronchodilation. Fact number five that I want you to know about is that if you're taking propranolol on a frequent, day-to-day -day basis, it technically should be tapered gradually and discontinued. And the reason is because coming off this medication too quickly, especially if you're someone who's been on high doses for long periods of time, can put you at risk for withdrawal symptoms. However, a lot of patients I treat don't take this medication on a day-to-day -day scheduled basis. So they're taking it more sporadically throughout the week. A lot of times this medication won't have to be tapered if you're one of those people. Just make sure to talk to your doctor and they can help you on how to come off of this medication. Now, if you're looking to learn more about other as-needed treatment options for anxiety, click that next video.